And as they continued to ask him, he stood up and said to them, Let him who is without sin among you be the first to throw a stone at her. He said to all, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. And what do you benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your own soul? Is anything worth more than your soul? Whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life will keep it. For everyone who asks receives, he who seeks finds. To him who knocks, it will be opened. Looking at them, Jesus said, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Go, said Jesus, your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The thief only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I came that they may have life and may have it abundantly. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Therefore whatever you desire for men to do to you, you shall also do to them. My kingdom is not of this world. And whoever wishes to be first among you must be slave of all. For the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Don't let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. Most certainly I tell you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he can't enter into God's kingdom. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father, who is in heaven. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will not be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. It is easier for a camel to go through a needle's eye than for a rich man to enter into God's kingdom. Listen, my beloved brothers. Didn't God choose those who are poor in this world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he promised to those who love him? Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Don't resist him who is evil, but whoever strikes you on your right cheek, turn to him the other also. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be devoted to one and despise the other. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravening wolves. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself will not stand. For most certainly I tell you, 
If you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you will tell this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. Give therefore to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You shut the door of the kingdom of heaven in people's faces. You yourselves do not enter, nor will you let those enter who are trying to. Watch out that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, claiming, I am the Messiah, and will deceive many.